In this video, we'll be covering the basics of editing a shapes pattern, one of Color Spike's advanced pattern types. We'll be taking advantage of the Live Edit feature so that you can see the changes we're making to the pattern directly on the Color Spike that we're already connected to. The shapes pattern consists of four main elements, the pattern globals, three individual shape layers, the animation pane, and the palette, which is used for animated fills. The top third of the editor is reserved for this pattern's global settings. These settings live alongside the pattern data, but can be changed on the fly when the pattern is in use, either by using the app remote or by changing them on Color Spike itself. Refer to our video on pattern globals for a more in-depth explanation of these settings. Underneath the globals, there are individual tiles which provide a preview for each of the pattern's three layers, as well as the controls to edit them. The eye icon on the left of each tile controls that shape's visibility. The reorder icon on the right side of each tile allows you to grab that shape and move it up or down in the draw order, which will make it render in front of or behind the other shapes. The topmost tile is always in front. For now, we'll turn off all but one of the shapes as we focus on editing a shape's parameters. Tapping the shape preview will expand that shape and reveal its settings. Each shape has a center, a size, and a fill color, and each of these can be static or animated. Dragging the center slider will adjust where on Color Spike the shape's center appears. You can even drag it so that the shape is partially or completely off of the LED array, so be careful not to lose a shape. Dragging the size slider will adjust the size of the shape from one pixel all the way to filling the whole array. Tapping the icon next to size or center will cycle the slider through some snapping values, which can make it easier to get shapes dead center or easily line up multiple shapes. Tapping the fill color indicator will allow you to choose a new color for that shape. Our advanced shapes video will cover animating center, size, and fill, as well as editing the palette which is the group of eight colors used by the animated fill option. 